Hello YouTubers, this is Hammy Tech, and Hammy Technoid, and today we are taking a little bit of a different route for a video. Uh, what I've got here is a Roland R70. This is my good buddy Roland. He was my drummer back in the day. Uh, he still is my drummer, pretty sure, you know. Um, yeah, I bought this guy back in 1992 when they first came out. And it's a very, very sophisticated drum machine. Human rhythm composer is what Roland calls it. And uh, yeah, it's got so many functions, so many features. It's just, it would be impossible for me to cover all the features um, in one little video. That would have to be chopped up into many. But uh, yeah, if you hang tight for the f for to the end of this video, you'll see, you'll get a little uh, snippet. Uh, this is the videotape that they sent with the uh, drum machine when I bought it. It's a demo, and it's the 1992 products rollout for Roland. And, uh, yeah, I, what I did is it's at the end of this video is, is the one on the R70. So let's just go through some of the, uh, the features that this thing has. And one of the main features that I liked about it was the FSK. Yeah, now with the FSK, what that stands for is Frequency Shift Keying. And that's those the two RCA jacks that you see there, the ones labeled Tape Sync, In and Out. Yeah, what this drum machine provides is a frequency sync signal. Uh, it's much like a modem sound. It sounds like a modem. And uh, what it does is you... Uh, you record this signal onto your multi-track tape machine, okay? And then you play it back through it and it syncs up with the drum machine so you can use uh, one track of your multi-track to produce up to four individual tracks from the drum machine. And that's what's so nice about this guy is you can configure it so it has four individual outputs for the sounds. Uh, normally it's in stereo, which is what I've got it hooked up here with the RCA jacks coming out there. But there's extra two right here. These these guys right here, and pardon my light, but those guys there, they are for uh, outputs one and two, and then the others are configured for three and four. So by relinquishing one track on your multi-track recorder, you gain three into your mixer. And that's, uh, that's pretty significant because what you can do is you can have one channel just going to one slide on your mixer and then have special effects just for that sound. And that's pretty cool to do. And of course, you've got your MIDI ins and outs and through. And then there's a headphone jack and the power on off switch and so on. But yeah, it also has an expansion slot for RAM or ROM they call it. And uh, uh, let, me, let me go around the front and we'll look at that. Yeah, Roland calls it their memory card. And you can see it's the M256E. And that one's inserted into the machine right now. But I also bought an extra one. And these are only... 32 kilobytes they're only 32 kilobytes a very small ram card but all you're doing is storing midi information so it doesn't take a lot of space but you can use them up okay so anyway there's the display and to give a sample uh, this is a, a pattern that i that i created i'm playing it through my stereo playing through the stereo speakers yeah and that's that's one of the uh, patterns from the cartridge and I'll stop it but yeah you can see there's so many buttons and the pads themselves you can hear let me play a pad here yeah they're all velocity pads and this positional pad here that, that is a freaky pad there because you can start out with a sound over here and then over here, it might be different. It's got more echo. You hear it? Yeah, it's, it changes as you go along. So yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool. And it, you go up here and you select which group you're in.
all kind of different sounds. Cymbals, it's, oh yeah. Yeah, big old sounds. So anyway, yeah, that's the quick down and dirty. And there's a couple of um, demo songs that it's got built into it. Surprisingly, this will play even bass notes. And that's why I've got these little stickers on here. There was the notes from the bass. You know, it starts at E and ends in E. So this, well, yeah, E, low E, and then there's an octave up E. So that's one octave of, uh, of notes there. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to flip over now to the the uh, demo tape, the, the VHS tape that they sent along with it, and you can get an idea of what some of the capabilities. And uh, like I said, this has two demo tapes or two demo songs installed in it to play. And they play one of them during the, the video, and I'm going to find out which one they play, and then I'll make a copy of the other one so we can hear both of them. Okay? So until then, see you later. Introducing the new R70 Human Rhythm Composer, the next generation. 210 16-bit rip-roaring sounds for the stage or studio, plus built-in digital effects. There's nothing else like it. Uh, what we can do with the sounds is really pretty incredible, manipulation-wise through internally and on the pads. Let's talk about internally first. Uh, simply going into my sound edit page, taking a snare drum such as that. One of the first features I have, which is great, is called attack damp. And you can actually hear the attack come in and out. So I can actually control the amount of attack I have in that sample. Again, pitch. Pitch is never, you know, a half an octave here and a half an octave there. You actually have um, octaves. So you get a good idea of the variety you can do with pitch. Uh, which is great for creating unique sounds. Obviously, we have the velocity-sensitive pads uh, with aftertouch that we can use, and what's, what I can also uh, use aftertouch for is velocity pitch. So the harder I hit the pad, I can actually have the pitch go up, and I can adjust that amount. And using aftertouch, using the roll, and with layering, again, the amount of combinations I can come up with, here's a number for you if you want to get out your calculators, 58,564 different sounds you can create just through layering. And again, that's totally different sounds. That's not snare drum, snare drum with reverb, snare drum with little reverb. No, it's actual different sounds. Another great feature I've got here that's not found on anything else is the new positional pad. Positional pad, you can play it and you can manipulate the sound not only how hard you hit it, but where on the positional pad you hit it. For example, I happen to have a cymbal, and we've got nuance, we can create nuance, and what I can have for it, I can have so like on the right hand side of the pad, I'm actually hitting the cymbal on, towards the rim. As I move up the positional pad over, you're actually going to hear the sample of that drumstick go up towards the bell. Okay, so there we are at the edge of the cymbal, and then up to the bell. Okay, once more, more control of sound, we've got onboard digital effects, three different types of reverb, two different kinds of delay, flange, and chorus. Not only that, but I can have different effects levels per instrument. Okay, so I'm not stuck with just throwing reverb on everything. I can adjust those, those levels as far as that goes. There's a lot of great sounds I want to play for you a little bit. I'm going to actually leave the stage at this point, and I'm going to let the R70 uh, do its own self some good here and let you hear the different sound. Everything you're going to be hearing is coming from the R70. I'm simply using stereo outputs, all the effects, the effects processing, the panning, the different things you hear, all the sounds are coming from the R70 Human Rhythm Composer. And here we go. music, rock music, dance music, that it, you know, without it, it's like, 
you know, there's, I don't hear that sound that I need to hear, you know, and Roland puts out that sound.